Dennis, you're listed as probable with the back. Can we expect to see you go tonight? Yep. We there. Mm-hmm. How have the last few weeks been for you in this recovery process? They've been, the first couple of days was tough. It's because I, uh, I was in pain, couldn't move, couldn't, you know, I, I was I was hurting. I was in a lot of pain. But uh, when I came in, was doing my treatment. They left me back on a road trip, which was a, uh, a good idea on their behalf, um, just in terms of traveling, sitting on a plane and things like that. But I came in every day, got my work in, and I feel better. I'm ready to go now. How tough has the season been for you? Uh, you missed some time. You came back, played well for a couple of games, and then went right back out at the lineup. It's an NBA season, man. It's like life, ups and downs. You know, I just deal with it as it comes. I don't look at it as tough. Uh, shit, I've been blessed with enough strength to deal with it. I'll be all right. What did you kind of notice from, you know, watching on TV, watching film uh, on that road trip? Um, I feel like we weren't competing at a high level. Honestly, I just feel like we went out there and we was, we was just going through the game, almost like we was trying to get the games over with, you know? We got to come in every game and feel like we can win and understand that ain't nobody going to give anything to us. Everything got to be taken. So we get that mentality back. I think we'll get back on the right track. How much do you think of that was just the road trip and the grind of those five games just draining everybody a little bit with that mentality thing? Um, I don't know, man. Some people say that. I ain't really big on excuses, man. Like I said, uh, you don't never ask for no easy burden. So that's what comes with being an NBA player. That's part of the job. We got to go out there and do what we're supposed to do. And uh, we, we, I feel like we had let our fans down and we let our coaching staff down because everybody put a lot into it. So we didn't, we didn't hold up our end. How good was it just to kind of come back here in this building to have a shoot around coming off of the losses and just what was the message as a group today, this morning? Um, detail. We got to be, uh, we got to pay attention to details and have some game plan discipline. That's what's been the key for us. And uh, like I said, I think if we do those things, we come out and compete, we'll get right uh, back on the right track. A lot of the guys on the road trips that they miss your athleticism, your spirit, what you bring coming off the bench for this group. When you look at this Nuggets team, what will it take defensively and execution-wise when you have a Nikola Jokic, a Jamal Murray on the other side of things? They got guys as all-stars, Jokic, MVP, um, finals MVP. So it's not like, oh, we're going to come out here and do this and we're going to stop them. Uh, we just got to follow the game plan. You know, we got to follow the game plan get them to shoot the shots that we want them to take, compete. And, uh, you know, we just got to trust in that. We got to trust in that. That's going to lead us. We can't put our heads down. That's one thing for sure. Can't put our heads down and, and, and keep going. A lot of the guys, I think, or Jocka said that there needs to be more physicality. Do you see that that was missing on this road trip as well and what you guys need now? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's just, that's a byproduct of competing, you know what I'm saying, or, or whether it was being comfortable. I'm not really sure what it was, but we got to go out and play for each other. You know, from top to bottom, everybody got to go play for each other. Uh, whether you're getting shots or not, you know, it's, it's all about, it's a team sport, you know what I mean? So somebody going to have to sacrifice something if we're trying to win, and that just is what it is. During the t When you look at over the last few weeks, kind of shots at the rim for the team have gone down. Has that been something that's been addressed, shot selection, getting to the rim, that sort of stuff? I think people are pretty aware of what's going on. Um, you know, universally in the NBA, you want to stay away from so many mid ranges, and we settle for a lot of them. Uh, you know, like I said, it's a team game, man. Everybody, we got to understand sacrifice. You're not going to get to do whatever you want to, and that is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we need shots at the rim. You got to have rim pressure. No matter who your team is, that's an important part of winning games, so we need that. Dennis, when, over these last couple of weeks when you were out, what were the conversations like, and how did you kind of keep in touch? with the guys on the road? Well, coming in and playing a couple games and then being out for a road trip, I, I kind of felt like I was letting my team down. So I had reached out to them before they took off and just let them know, like, I, I wish I could be there. Um, and they kind of fucked with me that I couldn't. So, I, you know, I addressed that and let them know how I felt. And then, uh, you know, I would just keep communication with them throughout the games. Like, after the games, we all got a group chat. And I'll, you know, I'll send my thoughts or tell them, like, all right, we, we got to come out and execute. We need this one and things like that. Just trying to trying to have a, a 
a vocal presence even while I'm not there. It's a little tougher when you're not when you're not tangible, you know what I mean? But you know, I try my best, so uh just, just try to stay in communication with the team. When guys are struggling, like say Mikhail's been struggling with the shot, like how do you try to as a vocal leader try to encourage guys when they're kind of either slumping or going through a rough patch? How do you try to, you know, keep them encouraged on what they need to do? I mean, to be honest, it ain't really too much Vocally, you can tell them like, hey, keep doing this, keep doing this, but you know, people got family, you know, and the family is gonna tell you right or wrong, you know, hey, shoot all these shots or, 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 or make all these passes or whatever, like, that's that's how it go. I think it's more so leading by example. You know, I'm gonna get out there and whenever I play, it's just, uh, I'm leaving it all out on the floor. So, you know, if you see that, and, and that's a uh, mistake or not, make or miss, I'm, you know, I'm going 110 whenever I get a chance to, so, uh, it, it'd be more so like just kind of, leading by example or showing like, you know, we all out here with you, bro. We all out here struggling too. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's not just you, it's the whole team. And since you talk about coming out there and you giving it 110% when it comes to tonight's matchup, will there be minutes restriction for you or will that be the same that we've been seeing? I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm going to come out and, and, and do my best to uh, be Dennis Smith Jr., put my best foot forward and try to get us a win, whether it's five minutes to 35, you know what I'm saying? If you sell to me, I'll be out there for 48, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it's not my decision. And coach, you know, he knows what's going on. He knows what's best for the team. So, like I said, whatever minutes I'm giving, I'm going to compete. This isn't directed about any one player, but let's say you're coming off the bench and you're winning your minutes, but the team overall is losing, or the reverse. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of go through that mentally, where let's say your minutes or whoever's aren't reflective maybe of the overall direction? Um, what would you do if that was you? I mean, I wouldn't separate myself from the team, but obviously maybe there's a disconnect where you're on the court, you know, it might be not tough to deal with, but mm -hmm. something that you're thinking about, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, that's human nature for that to be something that you think about. That would be anybody, but it can't be something that you focus on, you know what I mean? I'm not going to focus on shit that I have no control over because, uh, that's how you start, you know, you start losing your mind. You know what I'm saying? And I've been there before. I'm seven years in. So that's stuff, stuff that I can't, I have no control over. I really don't even, it's, it's just, I don't think about it at all. Thanks, man. That's good.